Did you know that Mosquito Lake has one of the largest concentrations of migrant bald eagles in the country? And Canada geese. Stay tuned, we'll show you more about Mosquito Wildlife Area on today's Outdoor Icon Show. Hi, I'm Denny Malloy. I'm Keith Doc Ainsley. In today's show, we get to go maybe a little step down your memory lane to one of Denny's old stomping grounds right here north of East Ohio and talk to some people up here and see what this general location in our backyard has to offer. Well, Doc, this is one of my favorite places in the whole world. This is a mosquito wildlife management area. It's the area where I first went hunting when I was a kid with my father and where I, I first met Rob Palowitz. We used to come up here with Rob's dad and enjoy the area while we were duck and goose hunting when we were kids. There's lots and lots of opportunities up here at Mosquito over the years. The wildlife area work crew here has done a fantastic job of managing the area. Doc, today we're going to see bald eagles. We're going to see trumpet or swans or endangered species. We're going to get a chance to see some deer and some turkeys and learn about all the opportunities Mosquito Wildlife Management Area has to offer for sportsmen and bird enthusiasts alike. I mean, it ain't just backyard for us. It's also people coming from out of the, out of the state and possibly from Canada coming on down to get into some of these controlled hunts and do some different things and just generally bird watch or do the outdoors type of activities, whatever they want to get into. This area here in northern Trumbull County is literally visited by thousands of sportsmen every year. And those are those are people that come here to deer hunt, they come here to turkey hunt, they come here for the waterfowl drawings. And those are people also that come to see some real unique photo opportunities for bald eagles and some rare and endangered species out here in the area. Today I got a little tip that today, just at the north end lake, there's more than 11 bald eagles on the island at the north, north end of Mosquito Lake today. No kidding, and knowing you, you probably got some footage of some, but we don't want to give away the show, folks. It's really exciting, you know, Danny's really been pumped up about this to cover this this subject and uh, today it's about him and it's also about the state of Ohio and, and, and local people but not just and I guess outside of that too but we also got some other places we want to stop by and say hey to local businessmen so don't run off we'll be right back we'll get this thing rolling well doc one unique thing too it's unique that a large portion of Mosquito Lake is located in Mecca Township because this truly is a Mecca for any type of outdoor enthusiast there you go there's a spin for you <laughs> Let's head on down dock and take a look at some wildlife. Let's go down to your favorite restaurant. That'll work. <laughs> My name is Brian Cook. I'm a wildlife technician here at Mosquito Creek Waterfowl Management Area. Been here for uh, about three and a half years now. Mosquito Creek Waterfowl Management Area is located in north central Trumbull County. Um, the area itself is 9,021 acres. Uh, a little over 1,500 of those acres is public hunting. The rest is all um, waterfowl refuge. Here on the area, to enhance this habitat and make it better for the waterfowl, we farm about 350 acres and we plant it in strips of corn, winter wheat, buckwheat, and we have a hay field. And we have blinds in the corn strips, and those are um, sent in for in the summer. The deadline's usually in July. We have 28 blinds and a handicap blind, and we'll hunt half of those on any given day. And that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, the same as the drawing for the wetland units. And if there's any leftovers, those will go into a daily drawing too for anybody who shows up at 515. As far as waterfowl hunting opportunities on the area, we have daily drawings on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday um, for the whole season. Uh, when duck is in and there's 18 wetland units we have and you'll, the, you'll come in in the morning the drawings at 515 for the first half of the season and after the split when duck comes back in it changes to 615 and there's no blinds in the wetlands you know you'll just get a you'll pick your choice of the wetlands and the hunts up until noon then there's another drawing at 11 o'clock and that's good for one o'clock until legal shooting hours in the evening. Blinds on the lake we have a drawing in August 
And the whole, uh, Mosquito Lake's public hunting, but the uh, drawing's just for a permit to build a blind. And that doesn't give you sole rights to the area. It's basically just so we know who's out there in case blinds are left behind and we have problems, we know who to contact. Um, on the lake, the hunting is north of the state park and it goes all the way up to the buoy line. North of the buoy line is refuge and the buoy line goes straight out from Mayhem Deniman Road all the way across the lake. The kill here, especially this year, has been mostly mallard and teal. But guys will get mallards, black ducks, teal. They'll get wood ducks while they're still around. Um, they'll kill some pintails. And the divers are here in and out, but not as much as the bigger ducks. The population of geese here on Mosquito, right now we probably have three to 4,000 geese. Um, max population can probably get quite a bit bigger than that, probably up to uh, six or 7,000 at least. On average though, it's probably a couple thousand, 3,000. Here at Mosquito, we have several uh, endangered and unique species. One species that is obviously not a game species, but we have the Massasauga rattlesnake here. Um, and that's a pretty unique species to see. It's not, it's not something you're gonna see every day. Um, I've been here for several years and have yet to see one, but it's you know, obviously a rare opportunity to see one. We have trumpeter swans, and we have, there's been one nesting pair here lately, um, and we ban them every summer. We have the bald eagles, um, osprey are here, and every once in a while we'll get some rare shorebirds that come through, um, and you know maybe some rare types of waterfowl or or things like that. We have on the area here we have five eagles nests. Two of them are on Mosquito Lake. And during the winter, you know, we're seeing a lot of them. I've seen as many as 14 at one time. Uh, as, you know, as far as coming through here, it's hard to tell because, you know, they're, they're harder species to keep track of just by, just by the way their life history is. If you're a bird watcher looking to come to Mosquito for some opportunities, we have several good wetlands that are um, viewable from roads on uh, North Park Avenue. Just south of the headquarters, there one of our eagle's nest is located on the east side of the road. And you know, that's a good spot to go and there's a marsh system that goes across the road there and it's, it's a good flyway for eagles and a lot of waterfowl there. Um, on Mayhan Deniman Road, you can view some of our, our fields where we farm. And in the winter time, there's always a lot of waterfowl there and in the summer, there's, there's a good population of some grassland birds that you're not going to see a, you know, in a whole lot of other places. Uh, probably the best place to view waterfowl, it's actually just a driving route. If you went North Park, south to Mayhan Deniman, and turn north on Bezetta Road, those three roads right there, that route is pretty good. And Bezetta Road will take you up the west side of Mosquito Lake. And you can see out into the lake at some points um, into the part of the lake that's refuge. And that always holds a good number of birds. There's shore birds there. You know, you see the um, great blue herons, the eagles. There's an osprey nest in that area. And you'll see those um, quite often flying around over there. Um, and that's probably going to be your best bet, the best route for, for bird watchers. This outdoor icon show factoid is brought to you by... DRS. Stay tuned, the Outdoor Icon will be right back.